Hi friends, it's Miss Anne. I hope you guys are having a good day. Do you guys remember the song we learned about sitting nicely at circle time? What's the song we sing to get ready for circle time to make sure we know we are listening and ready to learn? Our crisscross applesauce song. Can you guys sing it with me? Crisscross applesauce, give a little clap. Crisscross applesauce, hands in your lap. Crisscross applesauce, quiet as can be. Crisscross applesauce, eyes on me. Good job. Now you guys are ready to listen, right? So this week in our classroom, we're learning all about friendship. Friendship. Friendship means how to be a good friend. We're going to learn how to be a good friend this week. Ways that we can be good friends to each other in the classroom. Did you know that one way we can be a good friend in our classroom is by protecting each other from our germs? What's a germ? Do you know what a germ is? A germ is something teeny tiny that we can't even see, but that can get each, get each other sick. So if you get your germs on your friends, you might get them sick and we don't want that to happen, right? So we wanna protect our friends from our germs. I wonder what are some ways we can protect our friends from our germs? We talked about it a little bit last week. Remember I told you that if we sneeze, achoo, we always wanna sneeze into our elbow, right? Protect our friends from your germs from spreading by sneezing into our elbow or coughing, <coughs> coughing into our elbow as well. It protects our friends from our germs by covering up our mouth, right? So we try not to spread those germs. And of course, we're gonna wash our hands a lot, right? Those are all ways that we can protect our friends from our germs. I'm gonna show you some pictures and I want you to help me to know if these people are being germy, are they spreading their germs everywhere? This is germy and there's a little picture of a funny germ right there. Or not germy, are these people being not germy? Are they keeping our, their friends safe by keeping their germs to themselves? Okay, so I'm gonna show you the first picture and you tell me if they're being germy or not germy. Here's a picture of two little girls. Oh, it looks like that one little girl is coughing all over the other little girl. Oh no, she is being very germy, isn't she? She's spreading her germs all over. She needs to cover her mouth, right? So we'll put this under the word germy because she is being very germy. Okay, let's see another one. This one is a picture of a boy sneezing into a tissue. Oh, so his germs are going right into the tissue and then he can throw the tissue away. And guess what? His germs are not getting on his friends. He is not being germy, huh? He is keeping his germs to him himself, right? Good job. Okay, here's another one. This little boy looks like he is coughing into the air or sneezing into the air. And his germs are going everywhere. I'd say he's being pretty germy, huh? He's getting his germs all over his friends. He's not keeping them to himself. So we're gonna put this under the word germy. He is spreading those germs. Okay, the next one. This little boy is sneezing into his elbow, ah, choo! And he has a tissue ready to go too. He is sneezing into his elbow. Remember I told you that's a good way to keep your germs to yourself. He is not being germy. He's doing a good job keeping his germs to himself. So he's being a good friend, right? Here's one more. Looks like this little girl, oh, I see her elbow is up, and it looks like she's coughing. I think she is coughing into her elbow. She's coughing into her elbow. 
She's not being germy. She is keeping her germs to herself, right? She's doing a good job not being germy. So those are some ways you can protect your friends from your germs, okay? I have another story about germs and it's called Wash Your Hands. Wash Your Hands. And it's written by Tony Ross. Wash your hands. Wee! The little princess loved getting dirty. Wash your hands before you eat, said the queen. Why? asked the little princess. Why do you need to wash your hands before you eat? Well, because you don't want to get germs on your food and then the germs will go in your mouth, right? Because you've been playing outside, answered the queen. Wash your hands, said the cook. Why? asked the little princess. Look, she's playing with some dogs and kitty cats. Do you think she needs to wash her hands? Because you've been playing with scruff and dry them properly. Wash your hands, said the king. Why? I've washed them twice, said the little princess. She doesn't want to wash her hands again, but she has to because she was using her body. And you must wash them again because you've just been on your potty. Wash your hands, said the maid. And there she has a big sneeze. A chew. You should always wash your hands after you sneeze. I wash them after playing outside. I wash them after playing with the dog. I wash them after going on my potty. I wash them after sneezing. Why, asked the little princess. Because of germs and nasties, answered the maid. What are germs and nasties, asked the little princess. Germs and nasties. What are germs and nasties? They're horrible, said the maid. They live in the dirties. And on the animals and in the sneezes. Yuck, look at all those germs and nasties. They can get into your food and then into your tummy and they can make you sick. So that's why you have to wash your hands, right? What do germs and nasties look like? Asked the little princess. Worse than crocodiles, said the maid. I don't have any crocodiles on my hands. She doesn't have any crocodiles, does she? Germs and nasties are smaller than crocodiles, said the maid. They're too small to see. I better wash my hands again, said the little princess. She doesn't want to have any germs and nasties on her hands before she eats, does she? Do I have to wash my hands after washing my hands? Don't be silly, said the maid. Eat your cake. Of course you don't have to wash your hands right after washing your hands. And there's her cake. And the princess said, did you wash your hands? We always wash our hands before we eat, right? Every day in the classroom, what do we do before we have snack? We wash our hands. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope you remember to keep your germs to yourself. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.